8 a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again. Been overthinking all the little things I've said. I'm sleep deprived almost every night, and I wish that I wouldn't think instead. I know the sun is up and I got things to do, but I don't think I've got the energy to move. And I go back to my dreams again, but I shouldn't be sleeping when it's daylight now and I'm stuck in my bed. What's up guys, this is Cameron Kandra Kazuma here with another video and in this video I will be showing you guys my tips for how I'm able to get through my APs on top of my other subjects at school. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So for most of us, the weekend is the perfect time to do our work. But with that, a lot of us just want to relax. So finding a very effective approach to completing your work on time is very helpful. So my first strategy for completing all my homework on time is by just setting up the space in a productive fashion. So for me, I like having my breakfast to my left or your right. I know you can't really see it, but it's right here. I just have some noodles that I like munching on while doing my work. And then I also like having my laptop in a way that I have all my distracting tabs away. My phone is also far from me, so I cannot get to it. And everything I need to do my work is just right here. Like if I need my notes, I have my binder. If I need a pen, I have a pen. I don't need to go running around just to get it so that I'm just in the mode. And for a lot of you guys, just being in the mode is insanely important. Now, my next strategy for you guys is actually setting something up on spreadsheets. On spreadsheets, I like having all of my work laid out along with the due dates so I know what I need to do first and what I can maybe slack off a bit and how much time around I need to spend on it and the total amount of time required along with a few extra things I may need to do that maybe aren't school related. So why don't I show you guys? So here's all the work I need to do this weekend or just in the future in general. As you can see, I have it organized by priority, due date, work, subject, and time required. I also have some to-dos to the right uh, that I don't need to do as soon as possible, but I still have it here just so that I am constantly reminded, along with some top priorities that I just cannot afford slacking off. So these top priorities, I rarely have things there. That's just if I really have a due date like on the day or maybe the day after that might take a bit more time than I think just so that I know to mainly focus on those first. Now here is my time required and this is one of my favorite uh, things that I've put in. Uh, if you want to do this yourself, all you need to do is put in your times and for the total time here, uh, how you can calculate that is just by adding in all of these. Uh, you can actually do that on spreadsheets if you don't know how to. Here's how, you just do equal, then type in sum, and then drag all of these different times. So for sum, I'm just dragging all of these, and then clicking enter. And as you can see, it added up all of the times. So this is honestly the main layout of my priorities and is something I think is very beneficial and very helpful uh, just so that you don't forget when you have an assignment and also so you know what to do first and what you can maybe push back on. Okay, so now the next step I think is very crucial to getting good marks is putting in your due dates before they are actually due. And what I mean by that is, as you can see here, I do have my lab on the 4th and it is due on the 4th, but for some other things like HS202, it's not actually due on the 6th, or at least it's not due on the 6th from the teacher's perspective. But for me, I like thinking that it is, so that if I don't get it done on time, I still technically have some extra time I can have to put on that. Now, there were actually a few studies done where setting a false bar 
prior to the actual due date actually encouraged you to get the things done on time instead of slacking off and that actually decreased the amount of stress one got. So that's why I think that setting the bar earlier is actually very crucial to success. Now guys, there is one last strategy I think is very, very helpful, and that is to stop scrolling on your phone before you go to sleep. So how I prevent that is by charging my phone in a separate room so that I'm not scrolling on my phone before I go to sleep. Well, anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one. So if you have any video suggestions, please put them in the comments section below. And that's pretty much it. So so see ya.